Hey everyone, uh, back again. I've been looking at the Raspberry Pi high quality camera and running with a Raspberry Pi 4. Uh, the previous video I had a quick look at the different lenses including the 16mm um, which comes with uh, an adapter ring that you need to put on 5mm spacer just here and also at the 6mm lens that I've got set up here. Last video I assembled it all. Since then I've used uh, Balena uh, Etcher, which is from the Balena Internet of Things middleware company, which is a really cool tool that allows you to flash SD cards super easily. I've downloaded the latest um, image for um, Raspbian for the Raspberry Pi 4, and loaded that and booted it up and uh, got it running. And what's really neat is the camera's in on here, I've got the control for focus, for aperture, um, and it's a wide angle lens and I've been playing around and it does macro stuff and it's starting to look good. And I can run this straight off the command line. So if I switch, I've got a feed from the Raspberry Pi into the camera here. And I can use uh, the Raspi still command. So I'm gonna say uh, run Raspi still minus T um, which is an amount of time for 20 seconds. So if I run that now, we should get a feed straight from the camera. So from the camera, uh, the color's kind of nice and I can focus really easily. And I've got different stuff in the studio here. And if I unlock the focus, I can open and close the aperture. Run that again for another 20 seconds. And when I lock the thumb screw, I can then change the focus. So if I go have a look outside the studio, I can shift the focus and lock it. And what's cool is playing around, I've discovered that um, I can actually get pretty close So I'm at a distance of about four centimeters from the camera. And hopefully nobody's lifting my fingerprints. And it focuses kind of well. And when I've had it set up and sorted the lighting out and sorted the aperture out, I've been really impressed. And what's nice is because I can change the aperture, I can start to do short depth of field effects and play around with different things. So. We've got this road mic and I can do focus pulls between stuff. And it's such a luxury to have the high quality lens on a good quality 12 and a half megapixel, 12.3 megapixel Sony sensor. And uh, so I can make it run off Raspberry Pi and I can swap the different lenses. Um, and I've been working in Open Frameworks, which is a C++ framework. And the Open Frameworks will run fine on Mac, Windows, Linux, including compiling on a Raspberry Pi, which I've used it for several projects before, um, but it's always been a bit picky about whether it'll detect the internal camera, which is running from the ribbon cable with a USB webcam plugged in, bingo, no problem at all, straight away. So I've had uh, different slit scan experiments running off different webcams, but they always have the little sensor and um, no interchangeable lenses. So I did some wrestling and there's quite a few people on the openframeworks.cc website forum, there's a link below, um, and there's a couple of different people approaching it, and I found a way through a little bit um, by looking at the um, OFX Raspberry Cam, which is a bridge for this new kind of hardware, and it looks like Raspberry Pi themselves are dealing with a whole lot of things, waiting for a new kernel update that should be able to address this as a sensor much more easily. But I grr got it running, and I ran up some slit scan code that I'd written for a Mac, and... So pretty much straight out of the box, I've got my code running. And if I have a twiddle with this, you can see, because I have the lenses on, I can get this beautiful different depth of field. 
and I can do focus pulls from one place to another because I have control over the aperture. If I can control the lighting, I can't control the shutter speed directly, but I'm going to have a look at doing that in software. I can get even better depth of field effects, which I'm really excited about. So that's a, a quick run through of um, getting the high quality camera on Raspberry Pi running. Um, it's working with open frameworks, which I'm really pleased about. The source code for the slit scan example is down below. I'm going to be doing some more work, but this is the end of this little bit introduction. I'm going to go off and I'm going to pair this with battery packs and a bunch of other things and go and take them out into the wild because there's a bunch of different slit scan examples. I did a whole tutorial about making slit scan with open frameworks, which you can link to also below, which goes through a bunch of different techniques and different types of slit scan. But hit the subscribe and I will see you on the next video.